Hey friend, John here, and welcome to part two of this lesson on how to play Deep River Blues. Now in the first video, just to recap, we covered the chords, the progression, the shapes that I use, and then also how to play the alternating bass line. Now in this video, we're gonna dive into adding the melody on top. Now if you haven't seen the first video, be sure to check it out, because as I mentioned before, the stronger that you get that foundation, you know, where your bass is alternating and your thumb is starting to work on automatic, then the easier everything after is going to be. So let's get straight into it. Before we had this E7 shape here and we were alternating with the six four pattern there. So our thumb is playing the sixth string and then the fourth string and just alternating back and forth, okay? Now, Doc Watson actually just played with thumb and index. So that's a great way to play this song. And it makes things, I think, a little bit simpler. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this melody on top of what we had here. So we're gonna play the seventh fret, which is the first string there, and then the second string, and then the first string like this. So one E and a. And then we've got this going with that. All right, so that's the first part. Now, if you like blues guitar, what I'm about to tell you next is very important. In fact, I think it's gonna help you start jamming the blues anywhere on the neck faster and easier than you ever thought possible. And what it is, is my blues scale PDF guide. And I wanna give it to you completely for free. All you gotta do is go to johnmcclennan.com slash blues scales, or you can click the first link down below while it's still available and get this completely for free as my gift to you. So I'd grab that now, and then let's look at the next part. So if I break it down step by step, it's gonna go pinch on the outer strings, then the second string, fourth string with the thumb, and then first string with the index. So one, E, and a. Uh. And remember that that thumb can lay in a little bit, so you almost get this melody. But the thumb is, is almost covering that melody note there, so. See, one, E, and a, uh, then two, and, then just alternating bass there. So the trick is, is to learn like where the melody notes fall in the cracks of the bass notes and then where they line up. So for example, here it's together, they line up in the crack, bass note, and then in the crack. So, right, and then it's just bass. So, right, one, E, and, duh. One, E, and, da, two, and. Okay, now it's important to note that you want those 16th notes, ba, ba, do, ba. Ba -ba -do -ba, to have a swing rhythm to them. So we're swinging those 16th notes. One, and a two, and. Then we'll do the same thing, but we'll just change the chord. Remember from our previous lesson, we go down to the diminished seventh, and we keep those fingers on the same strings. We just shift it back. It's a great sound. You know, a lot of people, play it like that, but Doc actually kept his fingers on the same strings. And it's just a little, it's just like 1% smoother, okay? So. Okay, then we'll go back up to E7 and go. So let me break that down. So this is pinching the outer strings here, and then we're gonna shift right away that pinky note to the eighth fret of the second string and do a bend. Just a subtle bend. Then the bass goes on the fourth string and then the open first string. So one E and the. Okay, and then we come back to the bass note. Then I like this. Right, so here we're sliding the A7 chord from our previous lesson, we're sliding into it. So we're playing the first fret on the second string 
and then as we slide in, we slide up and then we hit the bass note. And this is a trick you see in finger style tunes all the time. It's like you slide in and then you hit the bass note at the same time. Or it could be a hammer on. It's just any sort of like embellishment. And then the thumb goes with the alternating pattern. Okay, so there, play the bass note on the fifth string, then play the third fret of the first string and then alternate now for the A chord, we're gonna be using the pattern five, four, six, four. So five, four, six, four. So we slide in, five, play the melody note, then four, then on six, when we play the low E, we're gonna go. Okay, so that's pinching the outer strings, low E and the second fret doing a bar there, then play open first string, and then here, going to an E chord. So what I do a lot of times is I play open strings on the way to the next chord. So that's what that is there. So. Okay. So backing up one E and a two on the E chord, okay? And here we're gonna be doing the pattern six, four, six, four, six, four, and then we're gonna play this. I got them deep river blues. Okay, so that's an E chord, pinching the outer strings, and really that note's ringing over. So it's low E, alternate the bass to the fourth string, then pinch six and two, and then add this melody note down here on the second fret of the second string. So I, I got them deep. Okay, so those are all together. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Remember that I said sometimes the melody notes and bass notes are lining up and then sometimes they're not. These are right on the beat here, right? So got them deep. And then we're gonna play three, zero, okay, with the low E. So that's pinching them together, three on the first string. And then just the open low E after that. And then this is going to the B7. So deep river blues. Again, think about that melody, right? Okay, here, there, I kind of anticipate that a little bit, that second fret, and then just alternate the bass, five, four, six, four, so. All right, so let's put those first four bars together, get set, and I'll count us in. One, and. Two and three and go. And. All right, so we're halfway through the progression. Now what happens next is it gets a lot easier. We're gonna start by repeating the first two bars. So we've got E7, diminished, back up. Okay, that's all the same. Then we're gonna plug in. We did this bass line from the first lesson, open low E fourth fret, open fifth string, one, two, so. Okay, and then river blues. Okay, 
so what I did there was I was on the B7, we're alternating five, four, six, four, but we're gonna go five, four, and then on six, when we play the low sixth string, we're gonna play the third fret now on the first string, pinch those two to, together, then bring that pinky back to the second fret and do the last four of the five, four, six, four. So, and then end with open first string and then open second, uh, sixth string. So, bass line. River blues, and then we'll go. throw in that lick that we learned from the first lesson, that blues lick, two, zero, two, open, one, pull off, two, open, third fret of the low E, and then low E, so, and then a little hammer, and then we'll reset. So the second half goes like this. All right, so let's put it all together. We're gonna play all eight bars, and when we're done, we'll end with the lick. And we'll just hit the low E string. Get set, and I'll count us in. One, and two, and three, and four, and. All right, so that is the core part of the melody there. Now keep in mind that there are a lot of cool little riffs and fills that you can play, for example, when you go to the B7. Sometimes Tommy Emmanuel will do that and bend that third fret on the second string. Like for example, you could go uh, from the A, uh, Right here. You could add that in. Another great one is, is throwing that at the end. So that would be like. And that's like a blues turnaround. Just moving up that E shape there. So take your time with those guitar parts, and remember, between these multiple lessons of starting with the chords, then adding the alternating bass, then adding the melody, if you go step by step and bar by bar, you can play this song just like the recording and have a lot of fun jamming it. Now to learn to expand on this, learn more licks, and really start jamming the blues anywhere on the neck, be sure to grab my blues scale PDF guide. It's completely for free. I put a link below this video. You can grab it while it's still available. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash blues scales and pick that up as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening, and for more blues guitar, check out this video next.